Hey everybody, this is Jeff from Ballworks Entertainment again, and today we're going to go over saving or exporting files in GIMP. For full disclosure, I'll let you know I'm not an expert at GIMP. I just know some basics, and I use this for small projects if I need the extra detail or whatever on my projects. And for those who know more or have better videos, go check those out. But this here is basically to export your file wherever you want to export it to other than saving it uh, i've found it and i have no clue why if anybody has the answer to it why can you not save this file a png file like a normal file but i'm not worried about that but let's go ahead and get on with the regular video of exporting first of all pull up your image i'm using this gimp logo as my image and i'm going to use the paintbrush just to write simple gimp on here you know, it's just as an example. And GIMP is a free open source software. I suggest you use it. Photoshop, if you want to pay the money, go ahead and buy it. But anyway, now I'm ready to export my example of my file I want to export to. What you do is come up here to the file tab and come all the way down here where it says export as. This here will save your file the way you want it, just like I am saving this one. So you export it. And you can export this file any way you want, to any place you want. I'm going to export it to my desktop. To do that, just go ahead and type in the file. And this here is an image file, so I'm going to use a PNG file. You could use whatever you want, you feel comfortable doing. But go ahead and type in the name of the file that you want to name. I'm just using GIMP examples number two and it's a PNG file but if you want to change the PNG file to say a JPEG file uh, come down here right here it says select file type by extension you can click on that plus sign and it'll bring up the different types of files that you can use and save as like I said this is an image file I'm just going to use a simple PNG file but if you want to have another one to save to that's in this list go ahead once you save it to, like I said, pick out the place where you want to save it so you remember it. Me, I'm going to save it to my desktop because of the example. And just go ahead and hit export. And this list comes up by default. You can change it once you get to know better, but I just use a basic list, what it says. And I don't really bother unless I have to get, I've never had to, but get de detailed in another project. Like I said, I've never had to do. But anyways, go ahead and hit export. And this file should come right up, right down here, GIMP example number two. That's an old example. So we'll go ahead and ch check this, my photo gallery. And there it is. There's a picture I saved. And like I said, uh, I don't know why the saving in GIMP it hasn't saved it the correct way, but there's a workaround to doing it, and I did it with the exporting, and I guess most people do. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and go ahead and give this a like and thumbs up, and subscribe if you want to. And this is Jeff from Ballworks Entertainment signing off.